This and that, yeah, this and that Started by two sisters cause they like to chat Fashion tips, opinions galore are just a bit, there's so much more Join us each week, we'll make you happy On this and that with Kim and Christy Hey everybody! Hello! Welcome to This and That with Kim and Christy. Hi! So, it's, well this is the first week of summer. This oh, is our first oh, episode we've done yes. since uh, <laughs> and summer. And I'm enjoying officially it. came in. <laughs> yeah, I have been too. I actually broke a sweat this weekend. <laughs> it was like 98 degrees. <laughs> uh, I broke a sweat because I broke a sweat three days a week because of the gym and they ain't got no air conditioning up in there. <laughs> I could do without the air conditioner. But it's all right because I'm sweating so much that fan makes me feel like I got ice running down me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anything having to do with cold weather. Cold nothing. Mm. I don't even put ice in my drinks. Uh, well, I don't have to have ice in my drink. I just drink bottled water. This room temperature is fine with yeah, me. Yeah, that's how I do it too. But, um, anyway, so we have a good show for y'all today, I think. Don't we? I think we do. I think we always do. <laughs> I think all of our shows are good. Uh, so, I do have to say this though. Me and Daddy, we stomped Marty and Harvey in golf this uh -oh. weekend. <laughs> Y'all need to go take some golf lessons. <laughs> me and Daddy went and ate sushi Friday. Yeah, he told me that y'all went out to eat. I made a pig out of myself. <laughs> I love eating sushi. I do too, but I hadn't been, we went to Eastern Buffet. I hadn't been there in a while. It was pretty good. I love Eastern Buffet. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. I've tried some at Myrtle Beach, and to me, they aren't as good as that, really. You got to watch those real sushi bars, though, because, like, all this stuff is, like, raw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know that's what sushi is supposed to be, but I'm yeah. talking about it's different. It, like, tastes, smells, looks fishy. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. It's one place. Red Bowl. I like it pretty good, but... Yeah, I'll do some there. What? Don't want letters up on the door. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Ooh, lots of people been getting the bad letters. But you know, <laughs> do you know any other restaurants that have the bad letters? Um, they lots of them had them, but now they have the A up on there. Oh, okay. We have I know a little local was... Mexican restaurant. It had a bad oh, rating oh, on it, <laughs> but it's got an A up that. on there now. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, but it's got the little A up on oh, there, and I know okay. things happen. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I didn't know this. I saw it on Facebook and it was um one of those little I don't know how you, well anyway, it was just something that was shared on Facebook and it was about different chains. Um when you got a key on your register that says oh god, what did that key say? Oh my gosh, it says something about bugs. Mm. That's a key on the <laughs> register now. A key on the register says bugs. Um, that we got bugs or something like that. Did it say roach? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you got a key, that means that's something that probably happens a lot. <laughs> I can't even imagine what the key. I mean, and it's one of it's my favorite restaurants oh, that I go to. Dang. But I'm eating better, Ooh. so I'm trying not to go there, especially now since I know they got that key up on there. Mm. But, I mean, things happen. Things do happen. But, this one place has some little worms all up under their <gasps> sink. But they had moved to a different uh -huh. building. They, maybe they didn't. I know, they got some. You just need to eat at home. They got some good crab legs. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> That's what everybody goes around here to eat some good crab legs. Oh, okay. But, um, I have not been that much. Mm. I'm trying not to go out to eat that much anymore. I've been eating eat a lot more. of fruit and vegetables. And we will be talking. Oh, but that's going to be on our next episode. Are you going to oh, yes, on our next week's episode. <laughs> we have some, some information, information for about some organic meat. <laughs> yeah. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Should you buy organic? We're going to tell you the truth. Yes. Just because they got a little sticker up on there. Yeah, hey, I could put. I'm 25, but I could walk around with a sticker that says I'm 25. Uh huh. Which I know, looking at me, oh, you, you know I'm not, but I'm just saying. 
you know, I could put whatever. You could put a sticker on whatever, and people just go believe it because it's there. I did that two years ago. I thought I was 42, but I was only 41, and oh. I was telling everybody I was 42. And then when my birthday come around, I was like, oh, Lord, I'm a year younger. <laughs> Todd was thinking at me because I said, oh, my gosh, I'm almost 50. And he said, you're not almost 50. I said, I am. I'm going to be 50 next year. I'm 48 right now, but I'm going to be 50 next year. You and he was good. He was like, well, thank you, but he was like, that don't even make no sense. I said, well, I'm going to be 49 this year. I'm almost 50 and I'm going to be 50 next year. So, I am almost 50. I'm almost 50. In a year and a half, I'll be 50. I'm closer to 50. I saw a model. Time. What's that girl? She was one of the models back when we were younger. She's in her 50s. And she was talking about how she don't have no gray hair or nothing. But you can tell she has some stuff done. But anyway, she looks good. We gonna be looking Christy that Brinkley good. Looks good. <clears throat> She's yeah. sixty something. We gonna look just like but, this when we in our sixties. I don't believe none of them people ain't had nothing done. There's no way they had nothing done. No, no way. No. There's just no way. But I, you know. But hey, lighting does make a difference. Yes, it does make a difference. And I say, if you can afford to go get your little injection or whatever mm -hmm. knock us up out hey <laughs> dolly Parton be looking fine and <laughs> she's how old is she honey she don't care she'll let you know she done had all kind of stuff done oh, she looks good she proud of that money she spent on that yeah, body she spends all her money on herself mm -hmm. if i had money that's what i would do too uh, yeah no, she, well, she gives lots of money away too she helps a lot of people but yeah she'll be spending some money on herself to make herself look well, she says she always want to look trash like the town tramp. That's what she oh. said. <laughs> so she strived to do that. <laughs> That's what she said in her book and in her interviews and stuff. Dolly looks good. I want to meet Dolly. There's two uh -huh. people I want to meet. Steve Harvey Collins and, and Dolly Parton. <laughs> We're going to talk about a couple of stories that um, <laughs> have yes, yes, come yes. across uh, uh, this week. One of the stories is about this man who got arrested. First of all, are you for real? Oh, for this, real This now. is our new little segment. <laughs> we have another new segment, and this is called, Are You For Real? Are you for real? For real. <laughs> this is for real. <laughs> this guy, he killed somebody. Well, he got put on house arrest, and the police he officer... killed somebody and got put on house arrest. I'll be mm -hmm. up under the jail cell. Yeah, well, I don't know, you know, if they have to go through a certain period of time before that court comes up. You know, kind of like that girl here in Barnwell that done shot somebody, and mm. she's been out for a year. Yeah. Oh, her court coming up, though. <laughs> anyway. That's the public um, record. Ain't nobody saying nothing oh, no, about nobody. No, it ain't true. No names. <laughs> anyway, this particular man had the cop come over, put his little ankle bracelet thing on. Well, not too long after that, somebody else got killed. <laughs> and they weren't sure, but somebody that was a friend of his uh, told the police, that they better check him out. And they were like, there's no way he's under house arrest. He has his ankle bracelet on. There's no way he would have done it because we know exactly where he was every minute of the day because they keep track of that. But the cop put it on his prosthetic leg. Oh, my God. How dumb is For that? real. Oh, my gosh. I get that Are you for funniest. real? <laughs> now, we don't know. Did he take his leg off yeah. and go hop out there and kill or that did person? He, well, you know, or, he could have cut a little... It depends on what kind of leg he had. He could have cut a little piece off that made it slide right on off. He could have cut it off and slid it, it off. It. <laughs> well, then ain't his real leg, so he could have cut it off. Well, they couldn't it cut it because... It no, I'm talking about his leg. Yeah, he probably just chopped that leg off. He could have cut the foot <laughs> off of it or something mm -hmm. and glued it back on, honey. I don't know, but he's the one who did it. But, um, <laughs> so the story is, well, I guess what you need to learn if you are a police sense. officer, think, think, use that brain. <laughs> you need to feel that leg, make sure yeah. it's real. Yeah. <laughs> make sure it don't beat, knock yeah. when you touch it. Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, you got, that's yeah, crazy. You got to be able to tell. That's crazy. That is really crazy. I'm sure you do a good job, though, in every other area. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I know our law enforcement people around here, they good. Mm -hmm. they now, do this good wasn't job. a local This police. was off somewhere else. Oh, 
I'm yeah. not sure just how far away, but he just probably <laughs> just maybe he I don't know. But anyway, thanks to him, somebody else got killed. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to yeah. some ignorance. Mm. It's a way. It's a way. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. else you got? Our other little story. <clears throat> what do we have to talk about? Mm. Oh, yes. I saw this little, uh, you look just like Katina when you did that. Oh. <laughs> I saw this story about this religious event that people <laughs> people were gathering and you had to be like mentally prepared to do this little activity and what you had to do was walk across like this long thing of hot coals well all these people got their feet burnt and they all, ended up, <laughs> they all ended up going to the hospital Dummies. and they was complaining that the coals was too hot <laughs> And they all had like severe burns on their feet. Now, you and know then what? The <laughs> they need to get burnt. <clears throat> That's just stupidity. Well, that will let you know if that you're not right with it. God. Yeah, yeah. So, feel if, like. so when they got burnt, then that means they going to hell because they couldn't. Stand That's what the pray. people were saying. <laughs> That's they, like those the, those the backwoods radical. Like I don't know which denomination it is, so I ain't even gonna say it. But um. Where they take their rattlesnakes out, and and I know there's a scripture in the Bible about, you know, I can't remember exactly, but about the poison not hurting you or something like that. So they take these things out, and if you get bitten, die, then basically you just wouldn't save. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. I mean, that's just and stupid. it's stupid for you to be trying to walk across some coal. That is because everybody you knows need your to feet get burned. Get burnt. You it need don't matter to get if you burnt. saved or not. <laughs> really, your feet's gonna get burned. That's right, unless you got some kind of spray. That you put on, uh -huh. or some kind of protective. See them people is tricking y'all. They mm -hmm. put some kind they of spray on their feet before down. they walk across mm -hmm. there. Because I can Trying promise you, you they'll get burnt. They Unless they just <laughs> done it so much, I don't even know. That's just stupid. Uh -huh. That's just that's just stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> you need to be in the hospital with burnt feet. Yeah. So um. Goodness, we've been talking a long time. Oh, have we? <laughs> How many minutes has it been? 12 minutes? 12 minutes. That's fine. Well, we will, um... We have a guest. Yes, we have a guest. Uh, and two guests. Oh, yeah. Honey. Because, you know, we like to exercise and stuff like that. So, Kim found these two people. Are they twins? twins. They're right. twins. twins. <laughs> so, what's their name? Oh, remember? the name of the twin set. <laughs> they are Kip and Kipper. Oh! Kip and Kipper. Yes. And they're, like... They are exercise fanatics, and they're going to show you how to exercise with things that you have at home. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to a gym. Mm -mm. So wait right there, cause um, they go ahead and get right back. Go ahead and <laughs> throw you a little tank top and some shorts. Oh yeah, y'all can, can do these exercises with us. us. Yes. And here they are, Kip and Kipper. Like my, hi, uh, like totally. <laughs> like my name totally. is Kip, and my name is Kippa. <laughs> this is my sister. This is hi. my sister. We're gonna teach y'all how to flex some muscles. And we're gonna exercise. <laughs> yes, we're gonna teach y'all how to exercise. <laughs> like totally. <laughs> you can just do the stuff at your house. At your house. Oh yeah. You don't have to go to one of them gyms. Oh. No. Mm -mm. Like for Me sure. Me and my twin sister. We gonna show y'all how we to do twins. it. We twins. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we need some music. I, I've got, I got to turn on the music. Hold on. Like Chaley for sure.
earlier because you got the string thing. I got the string thing, but she's got the not she's the, got the corn. Not the corn. It's like totally uh, like. But like, here, did she my your, sister? I'll let her do it. But here, you take these. You know, because a, a curl of corn is so much. It, it's okay. It's okay. No, you got this. Okay. Okay, because I'm I'm stronger than you anyway. That's like for sure, Tayley. <laughs> and raise it up. Raise oh, it up. And girls, don't shave because that can catch your sweat. Oh, that's right, girls. We're going to go all natural. I'm trying to teach my sister that she needs to go all natural. I'm kind of oh, with I'm twins and here. he's my brother. And, oh, well, oh, let us look more like twins. And stretch. Oh. Come on. Oh. And stretch. Good job. Okay, run like this. Okay, now we're gonna do some box. We gonna box. I need that oh, the, the this and that show. That girl took your hair falling out. Oh. We gonna do some boxing to show Christy how to do the boxing properly. Oh, yay! Are you ready, kid? I need. Oh, I can do this. Like for sure. Take a reality show and just talk about it a little bit. And most of the time it's gonna be negative. Just as, just so you know, because they got so. I'm not gonna say nothing no. negative. <laughs> a lot of times it will be negative, but um, not all the time. Not all the time. We just having fun with it, and we just will give y'all our opinion. You might not agree, and that's okay, because I might not agree with what you think. And I can still be your friend. Mm -hmm. Unlike some people that saw my friends on Facebook. I'm surprised yeah, I ain't been deleted. I don't know. Somebody trying to delete you off of Facebook? Why? No. If they try, they could delete me. I don't care. I'm just saying. Some people Christy, get so, you got all kind of drama. Some people, no, I don't do drama. <laughs> some people get mad when you disagree with them. Um, oh my gosh. Especially in politics. But that's okay. I can still be friends with somebody and disagree with them. Mm -hmm. Me and... Um, lots of my friends don't feel the same way. Well, that's okay. I love y'all anyway. <laughs> and I know y'all love me. <laughs> so anyway, our reality check is on what, Kim? Oh, today we're going to talk about this show called Married at First Sight. Ooh. Have you ever that seen it? That sounds so hard to understand <laughs> what the concept is. <laughs> well, <laughs> what you do is you're marrying someone at first sight. I mean, you've never seen them before, which I know a lot of 
cultures do this anyway. Yeah. What is it called? A lot of them go ahead and when they're born, they have yes, they promised them, mm -hmm. betrothed them to somebody. Right, that's the yeah. word. Yes. But we don't know <laughs> in America. No, not in the United States. <laughs> uh, anyway, Married at First Sight. It's interesting. I like it. I've watched it several times. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand how in the world you can meet somebody on your day that you go get married. So what they and get? Like, what? The deal is this they one for money. No, they have to stay together for so many weeks, and then at the end of oh, so, so many, many weeks. weeks <laughs> y'all, that's a long <laughs> marriage now. Y'all got to stay together for a few weeks. After so many weeks, they get to decide do they get a divorce or not, oh, or stay see, together. So wrong. Well, one thing about it is they don't have to consummate the marriage, Yeah. So, well. which will allow them to, I guess, have the quick adulment mm. at the end of the show if they decide they don't want to be consummating that marriage. <laughs> But you know it's kind of interesting to watch because when you when they do this they get married they go on their honeymoon and immediately the first thing they say is oh, thank God she's pretty or you know the guy will be like or the girl will be like oh he's so handsome or fine or you know something like that bang 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 but <laughs> there have been some couples that have not had that experience mm. and you can immediately tell which ones are not attracted to each other. And they do struggle. There was this one particular couple. She was not attracted to him at all. <laughs> she was a cute little thing. He just wasn't physically attractive mm -hmm. to her. Right. Maybe not to some right. other people he would either. Have been to somebody <laughs> else because there's somebody for everybody out but there. But he was sweet. But anyway, still a typical man because I do have to tell you something he uh -oh, did, which watch caused out, him ultimately to get his divorce. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so they had to spend all this time together, go on their honeymoon, um, then immediately move in with each other. And they have to decide whose house they're going to live in, whether it be the female's or the male's house, you know. So, and they have to decide if they, within those weeks, if they want to sell those homes and move into a home that's theirs, that they're going to call their own. Mm -hmm. And they have counseling sessions at the end of each week to see how they're going and all this kind of stuff. It's interesting. You should watch it, um, especially young people, because it's really the same thing. Just like all these little kids, they be dating in high school and stuff, and then they go ahead and get married. When you move in with somebody, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's especially not like living at home with your mom and your daddy. Throw a baby up in there. Yeah, well, they see? don't have to deal with those situations. Yeah. But, but <clears> just so you know, y'all's situation would be worse. Mm -hmm. So, I just don't see how in the world somebody could choose to do this. And, I mean, I'd have to see who I would go marry. <laughs> I'd have to know, like, because, and even just because somebody looked good, that's, that don't mean nothing. Because some of the most good looking people are the most arrogant and mm -hmm. all that. And they end up having the same issues as people who've known do each other. Do any of them stay married? Have any of them been Some successful? of them have stayed married. But that one particular couple, that was actually one couple I thought they were going to stay married because they ended up becoming friends mm -hmm. by the end of the show. But they did not stay married. Mm -hmm. They did continue to stay friends, though. But that one particular couple, no. That woman said, mm-mm. And it's all because... <laughs> they go get some money. No, they, they don't get, get money, money. Uh -uh. so they just won't be on TV. Uh huh. Yeah, That's they, great. You just start your own little internet show. You <laughs> they ain't got to go marry married. somebody. They want. They both go in it wanting to be married. They don't care who they marry. They want a marriage for life deal. But of course, some but they of got a few weeks to divorce. decide if they <laughs> yeah. really. Want I don't to think keep this concept will work for anybody. No, I, I do have so one either. other little. Um, couple that I had met who they were from India mm -hmm. and they had just gotten married and I used to do their hair over in Aiken and that was one thing that man said I can't stand her she uh, gets on my last nerve oh <laughs> but when they get married they married forever mm -hmm. from there. see but that's that's the thing you got to know like you got to make sure you can be around that person in the not just in the good times and not just when they look good because mm -hmm. Which a guy most of all the time, if he looks good, he's going to pretty much always look good as women, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to do a little extra to look as good as we looked when they first met us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't think any of this stuff, like, I don't want to say nothing against what the Bible says. Because <clears throat> I know you ain't supposed to be having sex with nobody and all that stuff or you get yep. married. But anyway. <clears throat> yep, that's right. Anyway, what caused them people to get divorced <laughs> was because that man had um, started texting and going on Facebook and talking to this one particular girl that was friends with the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then the other girl called her and told her about it. Aww. And that was it, so he lost his chance. <laughs> well, but get to know it somebody is. before you marry them. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and I guess that will wrap it up for this yes, week. Yes, it will. Show. Goodness, it don't seem like and we've been here but five minutes. Know, we've we been here for over 20 minutes. I know. We hope y'all liked Kip and Kipper. Maybe yes. we can get them back. I love them. Most of the guests that we've had, we're probably not going to have a whole lot of different gifts. Oh no, because honey, Willie Mae's ready to come back. Yeah, on we, here. we're gonna have to start bringing these back. And yes. I know Possum's got that. He's got some more. He's got some dietary supplements. Mm -hmm. that he's well, I know on. Herman wants to come back on here because oh, yeah. he's got some new computer technology stuff going on yeah. at his house, and he wants to do another weather segment. And Willie Mae wants to talk about rearing some children. Oh, that also, honey, me and her are gonna have a good time <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> goodness and, and and you can keep rearing them even when they old you can still uh, bring the bell out and whip them I'm about, to, I'm about to bring the bell out and whip my youngest one and he's grown but that's okay I love you anyway Cody oh she done called you out I made mama mad oh see so she'll have to tell me all about that when we get off the it, ain't, it ain't nothing that bad or nothing I just like to give him a hard time into way Next it. week is 4th of July. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> We're going to have us a little 4th of July celebration. Yay. Celebrating the independence from Britain, right? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I think um, Britain celebrating their own little independence over there right now. <laughs> since they done <laughs> seceded from Europe. Oh. <laughs> but in some way, that's the world of politics that I'm going to try to stay out of. Yes. Okay, y'all have a good week. Bye.